So, what do you think about that boy, Seth? Come on girl, of course I noticed how you saw him, and how he saw you back. It's nothing, I just think he is cute. But really, it's nothing. Are you sure right? Because if you don't take him then I will. Dana, you probably have dated at least half the guys in the classroom. Because it's fun, you should do it too. We are in the age to do it and to try new things. Besides, Seth doesn't look too bad, a little too under your league but if you like him, go for it. I'll think about it. Why so alone? The party is the... Just waiting to get more beer for my friends. Apparently it was my turn. That's way more organized than on my group of friends. With them I always end up being the one that has to go for the beer in these kind of parties. By the way, my name is Derek. I attend the other university of this town. Cool, I mate. I heard it's a really good uni and it has way more extracurricular activities than ours. Well, you could sign up for any of them if you want, most are open to anyone interested. It may be too soon, but would you like to go out sometime? I'm already kind of on a relationship or something like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't know, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Don't worry, I still can take your invitation to check the clubs of your uni. So, anyway, what degree are you in? He never took me on a date. What are we Seth? We don't even spend that much time together. I know what you feel for me, but I think that whatever I felt for you is gone, and yet I still care for you. You are lying. I am sorry. It wasn't my intention. Sometimes dreams don't come true, no matter how hard you try. I always hated chess. I always lost at it. Did you hate life too? I wasn't happy with what I had. I'm never enough, just failure after failure. Do you ever miss us? Do you ever miss me? Life is a series of tragedies until the last one which is death. No. I got to help them. Don't. Please don't leave. If you go now, you'll die. But if I don't go, they will die. Finish with her zero one. Anything that pleases you, father. Seth. I was wondering when would he show up, 
too bad nor he nor anyone can do anything to stop me, they are merely delaying the inevitable. Seth, are you now a psychic like Mr. Doomsday? But Dr. Nice said that such power would drive you insane. It wasn't the power what turned Mr. Doomsday into a monster, it's just what we were already. He is coming for us. He is already here. Yes, Mr. Doomsday locked some of your functions, didn't he? Maybe I can unlock them and reactivate your self-repair system and your full arsenal. Wait, since when are you an expert in cybernetics? Last time I remember you weren't particularly gifted with robotics. Since I read your minds, sorry, it was the only way. Got to go, the war has begun. Please tell me he didn't said war. People of this reality, your world and your universe, will have the honor, to be destroyed by me. Sir, permission to speak. Permission granted Captain David, have you got any news on the invaders? Colonel Thomas, our top scientists are investigating but it seems unlike anything we have encounter. It has been reported over 300,000 causalities of our people and nothing of what we have thrown at them has shown any effect. Is there anything else? Yes, sir. A group of civilians claim to come from an alternate dimension and we have reasons to believe they are saying the truth. Very well, I want to see them and our top scientist here in one hour. I also want to get our full arsenal of nuclear warheads ready to attack if the invaders try anything else. Yes, sir. At your orders, sir. Where are you, other me? I'm getting tired of playing with this meat bags. Go on, show yourself. Please, I can manipulate time. Will you just keep sending others to fight for you? You are just like me. Captain, you are not the only one who can manipulate matter to the subatomic level. Do you think any of you is strong? 
No, everything you know I've learned in seconds from simply reading your minds and everything you ever did is nothing compared to what I've done. I've killed beings that you mortals would call gods like if they were mere bugs. Gentlemen, we are facing an unprecedented crisis against an unknown enemy, in this room are gathered the brightest minds the world has to offer together with guests that come from another world to aid us in this situation. Colonel, you must be joking, they are kids, how are they supposed to help us? Dr. Gumball, I think you underestimate them, at their age I built my first fully functional reactor and my husband. Professor Rafa, made the first models of practical AI systems. Thank you, Professor Tabu. Besides, Dr. Gumball, our guests provided the information that your team has been analyzing. So, if I understand well, this enemy in common is an interdimensional conqueror capable of manipulating reality and bending the laws of physics to his will who has already effectively destroyed a significant number of universes, right? Yeah. That's about it. So, I'm a little curious. What are you proposing? Haven't you already tried a variety of weapons with no success from an antimatter bomb to a black hole generator and even throwing the guy into a supernova? I mean we just saw how he survived a direct gamma ray burst when destroying that giant robot. If you are as smart as your counterparts in the other universes, and most certainly you are, we can create a virus so deadly that will immediately kill Mr. Doomsday. No offense, but how would we get close enough to him, even I can see that problem. This time we count with an android with planetary level destruction potential and an ally that is distracting him. Eos, are you sure you want to do this? Beatrice, I was designed as a doomsday device and even my creator feared me. Then Mr. Doomsday used me to hunt down Dr. Nice and Seth before destroying me once I was no longer useful to him. So yes, I want to do this. Killing that monster is as much of a personal thing to me as it is to you all. 